Okay, guys, um, after X-Men vs. Street Fighter, welcome back to another new Let's Play, um, of Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter. Um, and I know I'm doing a lot of projects, but the reason is, well, um, these are really quick to do. It's not like I'm doing, like, um, a 60-hour long project or something like that, no. Um, that's why I'm doing fighting games, because one, I'm, en I enjoy them, mostly the Capcom fighting games. Um, and, well, because they're really quick and easy to do, it's not like I have to commentate on it, I'm only commentating on these, these videos, but, so yeah, that's probably, if you wanted to hear, like, a bullshit reason why I'm uploading so much fighting game videos, it's because of that. I'm also thinking of doing Super Smash Bros. playthroughs on Classic Mode, but we'll see, um, <laughs> there, because I, I also like Super Smash Bros., but anyway, um, so yeah, Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighters, to start things off, this game is actually, hold on, let me actually, um, erase, no, not erase this, I'm gonna erase this, X-Men vs. Street Fighter file, then copy this, then erase that, then copy this one, and then go back, yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter is the sequel to X-Men vs. Street Fighter, um, it's the second in the Versus series, and it's a sequel because, well, it's basically, they reused... The, uh, like the game engine like they have the same stages except they're altered and they're really altered very nicely they remade them a little bit like all the stages are in there the same boss the, there's the same boss apocalypse but there's a new a new final final boss it's not your fight it's not your partner which it's kind of sad I really wish they didn't take that one out like you have to fight your own partner like on X-Men vs. Street Fighter because that's a really fitting final boss but yeah but basically it's just um, it's just X-Men vs. Street Fighter, except it, they added more Marvel characters like Hulk, Captain America, Spider-Man, um, etc. And they added more Street Fighter characters, but they took Charlie and Cammy out. They added Sakura and Dan, which I guess is kind of a fair trade because I actually like those characters, but I really wish they didn't take, they had to take out Cammy and Charlie because they were really, they were really badass too. Um... A lot of people don't like this game. I, 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 I've heard some people don't really like this game. They call it like the black sheep of the Versus series, which I really am stunned because this is such a good game. I mean, I guess people don't like it because it's basically just a rehash. It's like they didn't do any, they didn't try anything new, which is bullshit because this is actually the first game where we get assist attacks, like in Marvel vs. Capcom. But that's not the only reason. What I really like about this game, it's the presentation. This game is epic win because of the presentation. The music, the stage, and the kick-ass announcer, they make they make this game. I really love this game. Um and surprisingly because of that, because of that that whole black sheep status, um it's kind of weird. It's not there there are really few copies of this game. I, I guess well, I guess a lot of people played it, but um, on Amazon, there's like only three copies. I bought the fourth copy, and this one came in mint condition. And let me tell you about the packaging. Unlike the unlike the disc, the the game case, the disc case of X Men vs Street Fighter, because this I didn't get the box with this. This one comes with the back cover on the disc case, so that's pretty cool. And also, I I didn't I didn't knew, but I guess a lot of Saga, Sega Saturn collectors are really into this whole um, spine card thingy which came with my copy of the game it has basically it's a Sega Saturn spine card with Norimaru as a character in in, in here on one of the sides um, I have no idea what's the purpose for these things are I guess you want if you want to replace the spine but I have no idea how to do that um, so I just keep it on the back of my manual on the back of the manual um, cuz well I guess it's a collector's item I better not throw it away um, so anyway, yeah, Marvel Super Heroes is a Street Fighter. I really love it, and it's actually a little bit more expensive because there's more. It it costs usually about forty bucks, but still, it's in today's game standards, that's not really that much. I mean, newer games cost like sixty bucks, and that's like this is like a new game. Um, so I'm really surprised it came with in a mint condition case. So, all right, so let's start this game, start game, and start game with no cheats. So yeah, it's really, it's really, it's really sad that a lot of people don't like this game, but hopefully you guys watching this will eventually learn to like this game if you've heard about it before. It's really a good game. It's just, it's really awesome. You, you, you're gonna, you guys are gonna see why. It's just 
awesome. I love this game. Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter. And it's epic win because of this. Just watch the intro. Just watch the intro. And I'm, I'm not even going to talk in the intro. Just watch it. Maybe turn off the volume, too. There we go. Are you ready, true believers? Capcom and Marvel have joined forces once again to bring you Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter! Have you came yet? Cause I sure did. That was an awesome intro. This is probably the best. Hold on. Okay. The there we go. This is probably the best fighting game intro of all time. Even better than Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Oh, I'm sorry, but <laughs> it's just, it's right in your face. Just look at the psychedelic colors and the announcer. It's just, oh, it's just so much emotions going through the entire intro. I just love that. It's such a nice effect. I really love it. This is why this game is epic. I mean, it's not just the intro. It's basically, well, but it's because of the, it, it just, just let this intro serve as the attitude for this game, for the game that it, that has to offer. So anyway, just like X-Men vs. Street Fighter, I'm going to do the one-star difficulty because I, I suck at fighting games. Sorry. Um, and it's already challenging for me uh, some of the time. It's already challenging for me to have just one star. And also for game speed, let it, I'll, I'll leave it at four stars. Time limit, off, shortcut. I have no idea what this is. I need to figure that out. Um, I guess I'll leave it that off. I don't know why. Um, audio, yeah, basically. Oh, backup, yeah, auto. Um, versus power gauge. I think this is a new this is a new option. I don't think it's an X-Men vs. Street Fighter. If it is, I guess you have to do something else to get it. But I got this on the first time. Um, I think this is like in Street Fighter Alpha Anthology where you can start your super combo gauge at full or normal. I don't know. I'm gonna leave it at normal because um, I know because I mean super combos they're really abusive. Unlike Street Fighter Alpha, which is kind of harder to pull them off. Um, th in this game, yeah, they're kind of abusive, so... But they're still good. So, alright, let's start with Arcade Mode. And for this playthrough, I think I'm gonna be doing... Well, I'm gonna be choosing Ken. And... A lot of people like to have Ken with... Team up with Captain America, and that's how I usually do it, too. But, I'm gonna mix it up a bit, and I'm gonna choose Omega Red. And I'm gonna do it on manual. Oh, yeah, this game is the first time to have, to have an easy mode. Um... Where basically you don't have to worry about doing D-pad rotations or something like that to do special moves. You can just button mash. They're like there's different types of button combinations where a special move will activate. Kind of like Tekken. So if you're a novice player like I am, you might want to choose easy. But the only bad thing about it is they leave out some super, some of the character super combos. Because usually most characters have like three super combos. But on easy mode, they took one out. So I want to be able to have all the Eternal super combos. So that's why I usually choose normal anyway. For speed, I'll choose turbo. All right. I love the versus screen. Look at that. Just love that. I love. I like the art style in this game too. All right. I I didn't mean to talk. All right. Also, I heard that I. There we go. Oh crap. There is a button to do a launcher in this game, but I suck. Oh, there we go. There we go, air combo. It was a sucky air combo, but at least I did it. There we go. Tatsumatsu Poo Kick. I really love Ken. He's my favorite character in the Street Fighter Alpha. And the Street Fighter series in general. And I missed. Hadouken. All right. Crap. I want to be able to finish you off. There we go. Yeah, that's it. Now I'll get Omega Red. Aha. All right. I love Dance Team. It's just so funny. All right. Yeah, that's what I love about this game. Every time you finish a character with a super combo, the announcer has the balls to say it out, say the name, and out, out loud. Destroy. I love that. It's just so awesome. 
it basically encourages you to finish a fight with a super combo. Now versus Wolverine and Chun Li. All right. Ready, fight. fight! I love the music too. The music is really cool. It's not. It's not remix of anything. That's what I like about it. It's. It's entirely original. All right. My favorite super combo is this. Ah, oh, crap! And I missed. Shinpujin like Hyaku. All right. Come on. Crap. There we go. No! 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 no I missed. Crap. Crap. Aha! There we go. Oh yeah, the rivals! I never read any of the comics, but I've heard that they're rivals. Omega Destroyer! Oh, screw it, I'm using Cat. I just love beating the shit out of people in this game. Shoryu Repa! Crap. Crap! Yeah, I want to finish him off with a super... Ah, oh, damn it! I wasted! I wasted! Whatever! I guess I'll... There. Aw. I wanted to finish him off with Shinpu Jinrei Kyaku. Versus Captain America and Hulk. I really wish they had Iron Man in this game. I... I, 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 it's kind of sad that they did, and I don't know why. I heard it's because of some licensing issues, but I don't know if that's true. All right. Tatsuwatsu Poo Kick! Tatsuwatsu Poo Kick! Ah! Yeah! Come on, let's do Shinpu Jinrai Kyaku! Shinpu Jinrai Kyaku! Oh yeah, that's how you call assist. Like you press the middle punch and middle kick together. She real can. Yeah, I actually did that. Like I did it right. She real can. All right, let's do it. She put. There we go. She put Jinrai Kyaku. I love this game, man. It's this an answer. Alright. Versus Dalzim and Zongi. Okay. I noticed I didn't even use Omega Red on the last match. That's kinda sad. Oh yeah, Zongi! Um, he might be the Ryu in this game because he spams that whatever, that spinning attack all the time. I hate it. Ah, oh, damn it, I missed! Oh yeah, you gotta be careful. When he grabs you, it hurts a lot. Yo, yeah, take down. Omega Destroyer! Missed. <laughs> Crap. Crap. Yeah, there we go. Chiku Jinrei Kyaku! I love that move, it's so fantastic. Yeah, exactly. All right, Omega Red. Crap, crap, get off, get off, get off. Crap. I really suck with Omega Red, but... Ah, oh, crap. No, 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 Dalzim. If I die by Dalzim, I'm gonna cry. Get off! There you go, that's what you get. Okay, now it's you. Oh, I wanna do Karma Name and Smash. Come on, let's do it! Ah, oh, crap, I missed! Hold on, I wanna finish you off with Carbonadium Smash. Crap! Crap! <laughs> okay, screw it, I'm using Omega Red. There we go. Yeah, Carbon Name and him Strike can be tricky to pull off, because you have to do it in air. I leave to destroy the weapon but anyway, the reason I'm choosing this team is because, well, there's a special ending. Well, not really a special ending, but there's a special ending with Omega Red, or that 
kind of ties with this team. I don't know. I just felt it's kind of fitting to have them fight together. That's one to poo kick. I love this stage too. I love Manhattan. Too bad that the floor breaks in the middle of the fight and then you you get into some sewers. Sure you can. Oh shit. Okay. All right. Omega Destroyer! Yeah, I guess that's only effective if you're using that in the, like, near the enemy. Oh, take that. Omega Destroyer! Oh, crap. 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 Yeah, I really suck as Omega Red. There we go, I got her. Omega Destroyer! Ah, oh, see, we, we're in the sewers. I didn't mean to do that one. Whoa, 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 Ken! Okay, good. Oh, whoa, wow. I might actually lose. Crap. Crap! Dang it. I missed. No, 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 no! Crap. This might be close. This might be close. Oh, take that! Nah! Sakura! Sakura, win! Oh, well, my first game over. <laughs> or my first continue, actually. All right, let's just choose the same characters. Ken, Omega Red. Yeah, there you go, easy mode. Manual, turbo. Oh, now we're fighting Hulk and Wolverine, which may be harder. If I don't screw up. Like, the, my main adversary is Hulk. He's really strong in this game. Crap! Ah, oh, dang it, I could have done... She oh shoryu you repa. Ha ha I got you before you got me, bro. Whoa, 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 whoa! Ah crap! Here we go. No! Here we go. Oh, take that! Omega destroyer! There we go, I defeated him. I love Wolverine's theme in this game, too. It's just so awesome. Omega Destroyer! Oh, crap. Gotta be careful of that Omega Strike, because that leaves you open to an attack. Crap! Oh, I did a counter! I never did that before, like a team counter. She put your right kaku on. I missed. Yeah. Oh snap. Omega destroyer. Yeah. He defeated him with his with his rival. It's kind of bitching. Let me get some horchata, hold on. Oh, that is some good horchata. Versus Akuma and Cyclops. Alright. Yeah, I got the first hit, bitch. Ah! Crap, crap, okay, okay, never mind. Crap. Show you the pop. There we go. I'm gonna use Omega Red. Crap. Dang it. Omega Destroyer. There we go. Omega 
destroy. Yeah, there we go. You died. Oh, dang. Crap. Whoa, whoa. He was going to do the Shungoku Sats. No way. No way. You're not pulling that shit off. Okay, come on, let me do Shoryu Repa. Ah, oh, dang it, I missed. Ah, oh, I wanted to do Shoryu Repa. Whoa! Yeah, cheap, but oh well. At least I'm doing good. Well, I did get one continue, but oh well. Oh, we're in the final boss, or penultimate final boss, versus Apocalypse. He's not as, he's not, he's a little bit easier in this game than in X-Men versus Street Fighter. At least in my opinion. It doesn't matter if you finish this guy with both Akum, uh, with both partners, there's still another boss you have to fight in order to get their ending. Shivyuken! I wonder if they, uh, the announcer says you're a super combo name if you kill him with it. Let's find that out. Yeah, see, he's not as hard. He doesn't spam with the laser. Aw, oh, dang it. Okay, let's... He doesn't say Shin Ryuken! Oh well, we finished him with a Shin Ryuken, so that's awesome. Okay, now let's finish. I want to finish this fight with Omega Red because I want to get his ending. So let's see if we can pull that off. Yeah, the final boss a Cyber Akuma. I don't know. To me, I think he's actually somewhat badass. I don't know why. I know it's so cheap. There's the Capcom was being lazy, but I don't know. I kind of like him. Yeah, basically, Cyber Akuma is a more powered-up version of the Akuma of Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Um, but in order to even it out, that's why you get to play as two partners, and you can use super combos really easily. Ah, dang it. Oh, well, let's see if we can finish him off with... Uh... Ah, dang it! I hit him when I miss. This is gonna be hard. Ah, dang it! Okay. Yeah, this is gonna be hard. Dang it! Scramble go punch. You know, if you want to make this fight a little bit easier, um, you might want to, if you die once, if you die once by this boss, you might want to switch to easy mode, so that way you can do special moves really easily. That's unless you're like, you really don't have the hang, you don't got the hang of doing special moves, so. I'm still gonna be doing it on manual, because I've beat him before on manual, so. And a really interesting thing about Cyber Akuma, like in the beginning, he gives you some free hits some of the time. Like, like, ser like some of the time he doesn't do anything in the first few seconds of the fight. So that gives that leaves you open to do some some combos on him. And I'm sucking right now. This might take a while. Shinryu can ah oh, dang it he missed. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Dang it. Yeah, he... Uh, Alright, now let's see Omega Red. Dang it. Keep missing with that. Well, I mean, it's... Yeah, I keep... Whoa. Oh, I'm not really good with Omega Red, so this is going to be kind of hard. There we go. Let's see if we can finish him off with a super combo, though. 
Dang it. If he kills me before I kill them. Come on. Whoa. Ome yes. Omega Destroyer. Yeah, I did it. That was actually pretty perfect timing. Yeah. So basically, once you fight them, they like gave each other some banter. It's like, it was fun fighting with you, Omega Red. And it was fun fighting with you, Ken. That's basically what they're saying, but I want to get o Omega Red's ending because it's, yeah. Basically, Omega Red, well, it, because I chose him uh, to side along with Ken, I like it kind of feels like he betrayed Ken and killed Ryu, and Ryu's like, oh, what a, what a jerk. <laughs> so yeah, that's why I chose to team up Omega Red with Ken, is because it kind of fits with his ending. And I think that's it. Oh. Oh, I guess he kills Ken or something. I don't know. I need to check the English translation for that. I I, I forgot. I know he be he like killed Ryu or something. I don't know. So yeah, that's the uh, that's it for Let's Play Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter. I hope you guys really enjoyed it because I sure did. It's such a fun game. I really recommend this game. I mean, along with X Men vs. Street Fighter, I recommend getting both of these games if you have a Sega Saturn because. It's a, they're really fun games um, in general and um, I mean ignore the people who are like saying this is like really sucky and uh, it's like has infinites I mean yeah it has infinites but if you play it casually it's not bad it's really fun if you don't play it competitively um, then yeah it might not be it might not be fun but it's I still find it fun because I like playing this by myself and playing it with my friends they they like it too and it's just so awesome hearing the announcer shouting out your super combo names when you finish a fight and the music and the characters and the stages is just really awesome I really highly recommend this game I also heard that the play there is a PlayStation 1 version of this game but unlike just like X-Men vs Street Fighter it doesn't come with tag team gameplay but it serves a little better because it it kept the same animation like the animation frames are still intact the music and the stages are still there. There's still load times, but like, it's not as bad as X-Men vs. Street Fighter. But I still would get the Sega Saturn just for the tag team gameplay because this is the way the game is meant to be played. So yeah, do I get a? Do I get to input my name, please? So yeah, I highly recommend you get both of these games: X-Men vs. Street Fighter and Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter. Game over. Yay! Because I'm such an immature, unfunny faggot, I'm gonna put ass in the. Yeah, this sucks. Capcom, just if you put a bad word in it, it just uh, it just rewrites of Capcom. Oh, I'm on, I'm on second place, I think. Hey, Marvel Super Heroes versus Street Fighter. Oh yeah, unlike X Men versus Street Fighter, the Sega Saturn version in the Sega Saturn version they added in a survival mode. Which is kind of like the score attack mode, I think. Um, also, in the PlayStation One versions for both X Men vs. Street Fighter and Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter, they come with a variety of different modes than in the Sega Saturn version. But even then, I, I, I mean, like one of them is kind of like cross combination mode, which basically allows you to do tag team, but it, it only specific, uh, it, it, it's only limited to use to choosing two of the same characters for both you and the opponent. And that, I, no, I'm not gonna, no, that's just kind of lame in general. You want to be able to mix it up. You want to be able to choose any character you want, not just having the same character as your opponent. But, so again, I, uh, for the version, I recommend get the Sega Saturn version. Um, fork over the money to get an action replay. Oh, and a little tip. Um, when you do get the action replay, I heard that the cartridge can get fucked up on the slot if you keep putting it in and out and out and out. So what I would suggest is just once you get the action replay, once you put it on the on the cartridge slot. Hold on, yeah, there we go. Just so I don't have to hear the the in, the awesome intro again. But once you put it on the cartridge slot, never take it out. Oh, hold on, my phone. Let me just. There we go. Anyway, I'm sorry. Um. Once you put it, once you put the the cartridge in a cartridge slot, never take it out because otherwise you will risk destroying. I don't know what components inside that cartridge slot is, 
you will somehow I heard stories that people screw it fuck up their their slots because they keep taking in and out it's pro and it's only for the action replay if you have the Japanese Sega Saturn and you have the 4 megabyte cartridge I don't think that happens to your slot but if you have the action replay just stick it in there and don't ever take it out just trust me on that don't ever take it out um, so that way you can still be able to um, play these awesome Japanese import games so yeah, so hopefully you guys look forward to more of my Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter playthroughs and my X-Men vs. Street Fighter playthroughs and see you guys next time. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. So until next time, bye!